Hello friends, I'm Bob. In this video, I will show you the solution to the McCloy series of e to the power cosine inverse x using the formula shown in the top right hand corner of this video. But before I do so, if you guys like the solution, let me press the thumbs up icon below this video. The formula shown in the top right hand corner of this video tells us that a function of x can be expressed as an infinite series in which we will need to find what is my f0, the function evaluated at x equals to 0. f prime 0 is the function differentiated one time and evaluating at x equals to 0. f double prime 0 is the function differentiated two times and evaluating at x equals to 0. f triple prime 0 is differentiating the function three times and evaluating at x equals to 0. For this particular problem, we will express the McClory series of e to the power of cosine inverse x up to and including the x cubed term. The first thing we will do is we will define what is my fx. So my fx, we define it as e to the power of cosine inverse x. Next, we will find what is my f prime x, which is differentiating e to the power of cosine inverse x. One time, we get the following. First, we differentiate cosine inverse x, which is just the negative of 1 over square root 1 minus x squared e to the power of cosine inverse x. We now move on to finding what is my f double prime x, differentiating f prime x one more time. For this particular part, we will apply the product rule of differentiation. First thing first, we will need to differentiate what is my negative of 1 over square root of 1 minus x and we get the following which is the negative of negative half 1 minus x square to the power of negative 3 over 2 and then we differentiate y as my 1 minus x square which is negative 2x we keep the e to the power cosine inverse x as it is we do not differentiate the negative of 1 minus x square Instead, we differentiate y is e to the power of cosine inverse x, which is my f prime x in this case. That will be negative of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, e to the power of cosine inverse x. We next simplify the whole equation, f double prime x. We get the following. The negative times the negative of half times negative 2x is basically just negative x. 1 minus x squared to the power of negative 3 over 2 e to the power of cosine inverse x whereas for the second term of the f double prime x we multiply these two terms together basically it's just 1 over 1 minus x squared times e to the power of cosine inverse x and this can also be rewritten as follows negative of x e to the power of cosine inverse x over bracket 1 minus x squared to the power of negative 3 over 2 plus e to the power of cosine inverse x over 1 minus x squared. We will then now evaluate what is my f triple prime x. So for f triple prime x, we first focus on the first term of f double prime x. We differentiate the first term, we apply the quotient rule of differentiation and we get the following. For the denominator, we will square it, so we get 1 minus x squared to the power of 3. And then we bring the denominator up into the numerator. We now have to differentiate what is my negative x e to the power of cosine inverse x. For this particular part, we apply the product rule of differentiation. We differentiate what is my negative x, we get negative 1 e to the power of cosine inverse x plus then we keep the negative x we differentiate y as my e to the power of cosine inverse x which is in this particular case the negative of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared e to the power of cosine inverse x then back to the quotient rule itself we have to subtract and then we keep the negative x e to the power of cosine inverse x as it is we differentiate y as my 1 minus x squared to the power of 3 over 2 so this is just 3 over 2, 1 minus x squared to the power of half minus 2x. Next, we focus on differentiating the second term of f double prime x. 
Same thing, we apply the quotient rule of differentiation. We square the denominator, bring up the denominator, we differentiate what is my e to the power cosine inverse x, which is my f prime x. So that will be the negative of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared, e to the power cosine inverse x. Subtracting so away, we keep that e to the power cosine inverse x, and then we differentiate what is my 1 minus x squared, we basically just get negative 2x. Once I found what is my fx, f prime x, f double prime x, and f triple prime x, I can next find what is my f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, f triple prime 0 by substituting x equals to 0 into the following function. So let's start with fx, substituting x is equals to 0, we get e to the power of cosine over 0, which is 1, so it's basically just e. How about f prime 0 substituting x equals to 0 into f prime x? We get the following. The denominator itself basically is just 1. So we have the negative of e to the power of 1. So this is equals to negative e. Hence my f prime 0 is negative e. How about f double prime 0? Substituting x equals 0 into f double prime x. We get the following. Focusing on the first term. It's basically just 0. Because we have here, this is 0 and my numerator is 0. For the second term substituting x equals to 0, we get the following, and the denominator is just 1, and the numerator basically is just e to the power 1. So basically we have e as my f double prime 0. Last but not least for f triple prime 0, substituting x equals to 0 into f triple prime x, focusing on the denominator itself, this is just 1. How about the numerator? So this part here, is 1. This part here is negative e. This part here is 0. So this whole term here is just negative e. So turning away the negative of x e to the power cosine inverse x. So this whole part here is 0 because we have x here as well because anything multiplied by x is equals to 0. For the first term of f triple prime x is negative e. How about for the second term? Focusing on the denominator itself, we have 1. How about for the numerator? For the numerator, we have 1 minus x squared substituting x equals to 0. This part here is just 1. This part here will be negative 1. e to the power of cosine inverse x, we know is just e. And then for this whole part here is 0. Hence, the second term of f triple prime x is negative e. Negative e minus negative e is negative 2e. We now find out what is my f0, f prime 0, f double prime 0, and f triple prime 0. I can apply the formula shown in the top right hand corner to find the McCloy series of e to the power cosine inverse x. I get the following, e to the power cosine inverse x can be approximated to be my f0 is e plus x times f prime 0 is negative e over 1 factorial plus f triple prime 0 is e, we get x squared e over 2 factorial, and f triple prime 0 is x cubed, f triple prime 0 is negative 2e over 3 factorial. So this is equals to e, subtracting away e x, plus e x squared over 2 minus e x cubed over 3. Because in the numerator, we have 2, and the denominator, we have 6. So it's just basically 2 over 6, which is 1 third. Last but not least, we can factorize e out of the whole equation, the final answer, the McCoy series of e to the power cosine inverse x. Basically, it's just equals to e times 1 minus x plus x squared over 2 minus x cubed over 3. If you guys like the solution, I'm press the thumbs up icon. Do consider to subscribe for more McCoy series problems. I'm Bob. Thank you guys for your support over the years. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.